Now, as one respected analyst reveals a surprise theory behind the latest Bitcoin price pump, crypto trader Arthur Hayes has predicted a fat flip will cause the Bitcoin price to explode to $1 million, something that would give Bitcoin a market capitalization of around $20 trillion. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's start. And we're starting off with President Joe Biden calls for companies to stop raising their prices to keep up with the high inflation. The US government is $34 trillion in debt. This problem ends with my generation. We are fucking buying Bitcoin. Sure thing we do. Bitcoin is now higher than where it was on spot Bitcoin ETF launch day. And do you see how the brilliant I was to add to my stack with multiple buys below this point? Who was brilliant? I know you're out there. I saw some of you. Tell me below if you were brilliant or not. Also, this is not the kind of impulse you fade on Bitcoin. This strength is unexpected sur and surreal. All these cyclo uh, cyclical uh, models are on the verge of breaking, and if $50,000 breaks, $60,000 comes very quick, in my own opinion. By all the deeps with both hands, holding a bag of stable in case 40k is still in play. Not gonna lie, this might happen too. Also, the update is this is what the Bitcoin looks like for citizens of Turkey, Egypt, Nigeria, Argentina, Lebanon, and Pakistan. A combined population of 725 million people. Nigeria and Argentina price more than double since I posted this two months ago. And here we could see this one, I, I guess, like... I don't know, it's Argentinian, I guess, like, looks like Argentinian. Uh, I know this one is Turkish layer. Uh, I don't know, uh, this looks like an Egyptian one. This looks like an Nigerian, yeah. The, and uh, this one is Lebanese and this one is Pakistanian. So, yeah, the, there we could see the prices went up massively. And here we could see what happened to Nigerian currency and to Argentinians as well as Lebanese was pumping up massively too as we could see the numbers like the numbers actually shock not the uh, the growth that happened but the numbers that we see that 722 million on the Lebanese currency we could see that uh, a Nigerian currency is valued at 69 million and the Argentinian one was 40 million right there the percentages are also crazy 15 billion percent, uh, 686 million over here, 1.3 billion over here, 220 million over here, 660 million over here, 372 million over here. The numbers are massive, that's what you could understand, because the inflation just kills these countries and continues to kill slowly, killing their currency, and uh, uh, as well as uh, like s slowly the currency is dropping while the Bitcoin is growing. I think now that weak hands have been shaked out of Bitcoin and the strong holders will be tested. When the price goes high enough, the people who don't understand what they own will sell. They'll swap their perfect asset for a shit coin called the US dollar because they think the price will go back down. But Wall Street is never going to sell. Also, I don't invest in real estate because I don't like the idea of competing with someone else who may be buying the house as a shelter. The real estate will always trend to zero in terms of Bitcoin. Instead, I just buy Bitcoin. In 2024, I will continue not to own any, uh, uh, to not own rental properties. Uh, I don't know about that one. It's still kind of good to, to invest in real estate. Uh, it's actually good to invest in multiple assets as uh, that's why you can actually uh, not put every single coin you have in a single basket like putting all your money in a bitcoin is not the smartest move and you should diversify and uh, like put uh, diversify into assets as well as put into different baskets uh, which will be real estate which will be gold which will be bitcoin some would make you more profit but some can save you money if some of the others will actually fail Bailout is coming, a huge predicted fat money printer flipped to spark a $20 trillion Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP and crypto price boom. So the Bitcoin price has climbed to within the touching distance of 50,000 per Bitcoin, adding billions of dollars to the combined Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP and crypto markets, forcing the US government to declare a crypto emergence. 
So now, as one respected analyst reveals a surprise theory behind the latest Bitcoin price pop, crypto trader Arthur Hayes uh, has predicted a fat flip will cause the Bitcoin price to explode to $1 million, a sum seen that would give Bitcoin a market capitalization of around $20 trillion. So Bitcoin uh, historical halving will show the price increase, that's for sure. It's time for some bank failures and fresh monetary poll from Fed Chair Jerome Powell and US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, Hayes, uh, who founded the BitMax crypto exchange and now runs a family office fund, posted to X referring to fears that sweeping Wall Street that a fresh banking crisis could be around the corner less than a year after the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, and in May, First Republican became the largest US lender to fail since 2008, as this week New York Community Bancorp stock crashed after it revealed a surprise loss. Powell says US economy and banks are strong too, very strong, Hayes added. New, New York CB says otherwise, who is right, the market or the central bankers, time and compounding interest are two things even neo canadians can't wish away. The bailout is coming, and Hayes predicted the Bitcoin price will rocket to $1 million if the Fed and the US government is forced into another bailout on top of the massive spending it racked up through the COVID pandemic and lockdowns. Last year, Tech investor and former Coinbase chief technology investor Balaji Srinivasan made a similar bet that Bitcoin would hit $1 million within a month, but was forced to concede defeat when it failed to rally. The next one we go with, the Bitcoin bulls charge towards 50,000 amidst the ETF surge. So this week's Bitcoin price and Bitcoin spot ETF flow, uh, flows are the major topics in the cryptocurrency industry, pushing Bitcoin towards the $50,000 mark. Bitcoin currently trades at the 48,153 with 49.89 crypto market dominance with a 948 million crypto market cap. The crypto community closely watches the lawsuit brought by Coppa against the Craig Wright, who claims to be Satoshi Nakamoto, the founder of the Bitcoin. So this week, in the crypto market, there are significant developments revolving around Bitcoin's price trajectory and the impact of Bitcoin spot ETF flows. Bitcoin is eyeing a significant milestone as it aims to surpass the $50,000 mark. This surge comes amidst increased institutional interest and positive sentiment in the market. At the time of writing, the value of Bitcoin stands at 48,153, as this represents a 1.8% increase since yesterday and a decrease of 0.3% from an hour ago. The current value of Bitcoin is 12% greater than it was 7 days ago, and the aggregate traded volume of Bitcoin over the preceding 24 hours was $20.7 billion. So, the current valuation of cryptocurrencies on a global scale is $2 trillion, representing a change of 19.9% over the past 24 hours and 77.99% over the past year. And at the present, Bitcoin holds a market cap of $948 billion, signifying a dominance of 50%, as stablecoins, meanwhile, have a market capitalization of $138 billion, or 7.2% of the total market capitalization. That's all the information we got on the Bitcoin so far, and if you are interested interested in more daily updates and news on the Bitcoin, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. See you in the next one and peace.